Good day, all you wonderful people. Welcome to Adventure Together. My name's Al, trail name, look out. And it is a lot later in the day than I planned. I slept in, had a nice relaxing sleep inside my little magical palace here. And uh, now it's time to get back on trail. It's about 12.30. It's gonna take me about half an hour to walk back to trail. And then I'm walking up to a campsite because now it's time to tackle the San Jacinto mountain. It is uh, going to be about four or five days through snow. Very, very slow going. Very, very hard to get through. I'm looking forward to the challenge, but I know it's going to be very, very cold and miserable for the next week or so. So it's going to be a lot of slow days, one mile an hour, and uh, maybe traveling from four in the morning till whenever I can uh, get to a campsite. It's uh, going to be the biggest challenge of the hiking so far. So this is it, rejoining the trail. And this is where my 17 miles of today starts. I am starting way too late. Usually I would have done about 15 miles by now if I'd started at normal time. But, uh, oh well. As long as I get there, it doesn't really matter, I suppose, how late it is. Well, the Phobes Trail is where I'm due to go. And it says at the bottom, when snow is present, spikes are required between PCT mile 169 or take PCT alternate, the Spitler Peak Trail at mile 168.5 to Idlewild. We're going to try and carry on, and if it is too dangerous, we're going to head out to Idlewild and bypass it. It got this map but it's so weathered you can't really see anything on it. I guess we just use the device that we've got, our phones. Back when I first started these PCT vlogs I said that there were horses that came up and down this track and you might be thinking, well you're two weeks into it, where are the horses? Well, I haven't seen a horse, but for most of the day, I've been looking at these tracks and I'll show you now. There you go, horse hoof tracks. So there, proof that I was not lying when I said that this is also used by horseback riders. I've just come down the trail to this little oasis here. A beautiful little spot. Water tumbling down the rocks. How lovely. So we're getting closer. Cedar Spring 5.5 and Apache Spring 11. And if I go right, I go to Live Oak Spring down to some water and in one mile. But I'm going to continue up. Let's get this. Here are more of those giant pine cones that we saw on day three. Pretty big, pretty impressive. Just look at that view, ladies and gentlemen. Climbed all the way from the bottom and uh, almost at the top, but that doesn't matter because the mountains keep going and I have to keep ascending. Earlier on today, I started at 5,000 feet, just under. I'm now at 6,800 feet and I've seen my first bit of snow and it's starting to get very cold up here. There's another bit of snow over there. Luckily not on the path, but we'll see what happens later on. I've got to climb a whole lot more before I get to camp tonight. So, and that's in 7.6 miles. So got about three hours to go. So I've just reached 7,000 feet in elevation and we've got our first snow on the trail. Fun, fun. Trees here, all blown down, dead, jagged. It means you can't camp under them, but also they may, well they are, across the path in some areas. 
and they make for da very dangerous crossing especially if they're covered in snow and you don't know what you're treading on There's something squeaking and I thought it was a bird, but actually it looks like a chipmunk. The San Jacinto San Bernardino National Forest should be up there on that sign. It goes to show how windy it is. Oh, come on. What am I supposed to do about that? The sun is setting, I'm just under a mile away from the camp and I am absolutely exhausted. Ooh. We have uh, had to go off trail a lot to get around blowdowns and snow patches and stuff like that and going up these steep slopes just to avoid them. I am tired. That's the track that I have to follow and uh, it's so very steep if you slip. I don't know about you, but I think that the city lights look beautiful. The city down there is Palm Springs, and uh, I'll be there hopefully in the next four to five days. All right, so I've got to camp and everyone has gone to bed, so I've got to keep my voice down. So out in the snow tomorrow, and uh, for tonight, that's it from me. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you in the next one.